but they have not been able to put together a full game. And certainly with their guard play, those guys, Sean East, Nick Hunt, are going to have to play well tonight. Carter is another key part of their offensive element. He gets the first bucket of the day. Well, that's a big shot for him. Just five of his last 29 from the field, three straight games in single digits. Clearly, Dennis Gates trying to get him going. First possession of the game on the block. Yeah, if you're a Missouri fan, you'll have to see that. Coleman Hawkins operating this Illinois offense, and he answers right back. That's a big-time drive right there. Tigers looking to get back on track today. Carter has their first two. Goes back to work in that same spot. Couldn't catch in this time. Battling for his own board. But right in the hands of Shannon. Boy, he is a one-man fast break, Robbie. All the way to the rim. Count that. Plus the five. You know, the, the role definition for Illinois has really stood out. Where for Missouri, you've got a lot of new new faces out here. You, you lose your three top scorers from last season. And they're still trying to figure some things out. You mentioned that starting lineup. There he is. Corner three. Manuel Bragan rights matchup. Mizzou won it last year. They've beaten Illinois the last five times. Illinois was ranked. And over now, 0 of 2 from deep. And Illinois is fine with giving that up. It's a wide open look. What a drive from Shannon at the opposite end. That's their forte. The Missouri fans were hyped. That, that is the real deal right there. Would you lift me up or would I lift <laughs> you up? How would that I, I think it'd be. Uh, Lift you up. There's some lift for Shaw who climbs the ladder. Nice little play coming out of that timeout. Aiden Shaw always a lob threat. They throw it up to him and he throws it down. Jason Ross Jr. Robbie Hummel with you at Enterprise Center in St. Louis. Damas, top drive off the window. Switch four ways if they want to. He, he can guard a lot of different people. To your point, right after I said that, he was guarding on Meanwhile, Carter gets that right back and flips it up and in. Well, you've got three fighting Illini right there, and Noah Carter is the lone Missouri Tiger. He comes up with it and steals a bucket. Hawkins. Oh, like what he saw there and drilled a three. They felt they were out executed by Missouri. Today, they're executing to a T really on both ends of the floor. About a year later. Last year, the, the bad shots and the turnovers just killed him. Lewis. Count that one. He's going to go to the line for one more as well. Fought the Jayhawks. Hawkins, nice late pass down to Goody. Able to finish before the shot clock expired, or did he? Hawkins, catch and shoot. Had time to set his feet and drilled it. Jamar Bates trying to stem the tie. That lid remains on the hoop, though. The match with a great closeout. He flew out there at Tamar Bates and affected that shot. Gary A wants another three. His third! Plus a foul! Bates the opposite way. Shovels to Shaw. Back to Bates. Oh, nice move. Illinois was just never under control on that possession. I mean, Damask has missed his last 12 threes, and you've got Nick Honor just flying by him. This has been the story. Offensive glass for Illinois, not just in this game, all season long. Just relentless on the glass. Gary A getting there, and then Ty Rogers just finishing it off. Dennis Gates has gone pretty deep into his lineup today. And that's going to count, plus the foul. Pierce couldn't hit the free throw there. They doubled on her back. That's you, coming. You wanted to see more of this, and Pierce couldn't catch in. A second chance, and another and one for Trent Pierce. Robbie, these guys are so athletic. Feels like they can switch everything. No, they can, but they play drop coverage a lot. You got Coleman Hawkins kind of rolling, and that's just a tough finish right there. And those types of buckets count. Challenge there by Damas, not fouling, but going up vertically. A quick moving offensive exhibition tonight for the Fighting Illini. And the passing, especially on the interior for Illinois in this second half, has been just tremendous. And that thing is popping around, and they're sharing the rock. Nice drive and a nifty finish with the left hand. That's not Sean East. There's pros that have played in this rivalry. Illinois assistant coach Chester Frazier, who was unbeaten as a player, yeah, still tell you very, very proud of it. <laughs> Terrence Shannon Jr., who nailed the three there, came out in warm-ups today, Robbie, with a Chester Frazier t-shirt. 
Coach Tamar Bates, last year he's told to hate Purdue, and this year now he's supposed to hate Illinois. It's, <laughs> it's an interesting dynamic. A steal from Robinson in the backcourt, and he gets it up. That's what he does. Sean East has been battled up today. His looks have been so tough, he's, but he's a good scorer. Excellent score. He's got his points per game average up about 10 points from where they were a season ago. Welcome to the weight room there. I mean, he just wheeled and dealed and used that physicality right at Justin Harmon. Nice pump fake from Shannon Jr. Gonna go to the line for one more. The 4 a.m. alarms. We gotta hit one of the real perks of the job. We'll get in the gym with Terrence Shannon Jr. at 4.45 a.m. He tried to contest a shot there, but he goes up anyway from Carter, who has been a bright spot today for Missouri. That was like a prayer, honestly. Multiple Illinois defenders around there, and Noah Carter, that thing, has reached the top of the backboard. Passing's been crisp today for Illinois. Oh, yes. Here's another example. Dribble drive by Gary A. and Rogers with the pivot. Oh, nice pump fake at the opposite end from East. That's where he's at his best. But when he can play off two feet for season tonight, and this one always means a little more. Gary A. has been red hot from three all night. That one contested. This has been the theme of the night. Second chance opportunities. Leading the second chance buckets. Ball just doesn't stick. It doesn't. I mean, this thing's been swinging around the perimeter. You've got dribble drives. You've got driving kicks. And now you've got the mask just going. And Kurt Lewis and one opportunity. Inside of four to go. Fading. Why not? <laughs> wow. Early, early. He started all that. He started everything. The tempo was set by Terrence Shannon. How about those smiles in the Illini bench as well? Well deserved tonight. Different feel from what a year ago was. Lewis. He's got a bright spot for Missouri today. Put the rim in the first half. Now A.J. Red. The walk on red. Oh, he got it to go. Was originally a student manager, then walked on. Like the move for a student manager. Killer crossover. Three at the buzzer, but far too little, far too late for Mizzou.